So you're sitting over brachioradialis. This is brachioradialis, what's underneath it, supinator. We're running our eye through the muscle and looking for a little black dot that starts outside the muscle and runs into the muscle. So can you see it? Yeah. So once you've identified it, what we need to do is find the point where it perforates through the fascia of the supinator and then we're going to rotate into a longitudinal on it. So it's very important to have your thumb up so it's just a really relaxed cross between a supination and a pronation. So now I'm going to just turn along and to get a good picture you need to not be right on top of it, you need to sweep in from the anterior side. So if I find it in trans, now I'm going to rotate into long. And the nerve should have a really quite uniform straight course, it shouldn't look fat and then kink as it passes into the muscle. So here it is before it's in the supinator and here it is passing into the supinator. And you need a picture that looks a bit like that so you can sort of see the entrance to the supinator muscle. And once you've found that entrance we can um, take a picture that means we can compare with the other side because we're going to look for the same thing we look for with carpal tunnel. The point where it becomes compressed is where the fascia of the supinator muscle could strangle it. So it's got to pass through a very tight white fascia, so that's at this point. And you're looking for whether the nerve is thick prior to that. So pre-arcade, so we call this the supinator arcade. So that would be a really good picture to then compare with the other side. Then it gets tricky from there. So if, if it's not hard enough to find it, we then need to perform some movement. So you're going to shake hands with the patient. And then you're going to ask them to try and turn the palm down to touch the pillow, like palm down, and you're going to resist them. So if you can pronate for me, so it has to be fairly strong. You can see there's not much change happening because this muscle is a supinator and we're for performing the action of pronation. Now I'm going to get you to try and supinate back up from this position and I'm going to resist you, but I've just got to find the nerve. So. <laughs> So naturally it kinks a bit when you, um, yeah, okay, ready. Can you see how it goes like S-shaped mm -hmm. when they're supinating? Yes. So you imagine jobs where you're constantly supinating forcefully, what effect that would have after years and years of jamming that nerve. So think about your patient's profession, get them to demonstrate exactly what they do, you know, and, and you'll work out the people where you really should do that assessment.